Hello everybody, welcome to Ms. with PJ, today's date, October 15, 2016, our word for discussion is union. Jeremiah 3.14, return, O faithless sons, declares the Lord, for I am a master to you, and I will take you one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Isaiah 2.7, she will pursue her lovers but she will not overtake them, and she will seek them, but will not find them. Then she will say, I will go back to my first husband, for it was better for me than now. Ephesians 5, 31 and 32 For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is great. But I am speaking with re reference to Christ and the church. John 1.14 And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as of only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. Romans 8.3 For what the law could not do, weak as it is, was through the flesh. God did sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and as an offering for sin. He condemns sin in the flesh. This word defined as an action or a fact of joining or being joined, especially in a political context, an organized association of workers formed to protect and further their rights and interests as a labor union. The Lord is our master and takes care of us like a family. When we are one family with one husband and one wife, we are the union God wants us to be. Christ and the church are a union that God blesses. Through Jesus Christ, we now can have a union with God the Father. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.